the month of May is about to bring you a lot of wealth, a lot of transitions, a lot of focus on people seeing you differently. It's like you're you're having a new life. You're being sprung forward. There's a lot of life being brought back into you. Many of you guys have lost yourself or I won't say lost yourself. Maybe you just kind of fell off, you know, and it, it happens. And I understand that because Looking back six months ago, you may have seen that there were a lot of things that were happening to you that you never could imagine, right? Just looking back, it makes you wonder like what was going on. But what's happening in the month of May, God is about to restore. He's about to change and shift dynamics. You're going to start to feel different. Wealth is going to start to flow continuously in your life. Even people treating you differently and seeing you differently, it's almost as if you were hidden for six months. You were hidden maybe even for more, longer than that. But there has been a shift. And God is saying that the shift has been taking place even within those six months, even within the years before. It was like a progressive stage. It took a little longer. But you know that how we are as chosen ones, when we connect to the divine, when we connect to source, and we get ourselves cleansed up, you know, and we begin to pray, and look at things a whole different way. It's almost as if things just begin to shift. Even though we don't see it, it's actually happening. So if you look at yourself six months ago, six years ago, whatever, you may think like, wow, I am. things have changed. Things that have shifted. You have become more mature, mature. You're more mature now. And now that you have matured in your growth of spirituality, of your, your business, the way that you think, the way that you move, you know, you know now that your discernment is even more heightened. It's like you, you know things. And with that happening, that's what had to happen with the six months because now you've seen the people who were not for you. You know exactly who it was. You shifted that out because the most high moved people out your way regardless of what was going on, okay? It's almost as if you were just like, why are people leaving? Why are, Why is this happening? Why did I have to let this go? Why did I have to let this go? You may have had problems with your car, your, you know, things at home, your children, your family acting up. You know, things weren't in sync. But it was like, it was almost as if things were being cleansed. That's what the Most High was doing. When he uproots things in our lives, it's almost as if we begin to see that things just don't look right. It just don't feel good. That stuff, that, that stuff hurt, right? That's that hurt. I'm telling y'all, it's like things begin to shift because it's hurting and it hurts, but it's actually a cleansing. And it's just like, kind of like we've been seeing in April, like they say, April showers, May flowers, that all of the, the rain and the water, the, the storms, that's like, it's been a cleansing that's been taking place. Even though, you know, some of us t have taken losses through all of that, it was just to shift things and cleanse it out so that we can get ready to move and be on go mode when it's time, you know? If you still held on to a lot of the things that were happening to you back then, you wouldn't be able to move the way that you move now. <laughs> I'm telling y'all because when I tell you, I guarantee you a lot of you guys found out that a lot of people or a lot of, you know, like your jobs, you know, weren't for you. You know, a lot of things around you just was not like, like this is why am I, why I've been holding on to this for so long. You know, you may have let go of a lot of things simply because it's like God has just been opening your eyes and he's been keeping you covered this whole time. You may have felt like he wasn't, but he was. Even if it felt hard, I mean, it, it's been some harsh things, y'all. Even with the harsh things that have happened, it has all worked out for your good. It is all working out for your good. And you just have to look and just kind of take note of things. Take note of what's going on and what has happened in your life that really, what really happened? What really happened? That person that left your life, were they really good for you? That person or that job that you had to let go or you were let go of, were they really for you? Like, were you even really happy there? You know, whatever that was, it was the cleansing taking place. It's been happening. And that's why I'm telling you this month of May, God is going to show you why you had to release all of that. Why you had to let go of certain things. He's going to, he's doing the big reveal. Type in the comments, the big reveal. Hmm. Cause God is revealing things to us. He's revealing to us that he's 
for us because many of you may have started to think like is god even really for me like really <laughs> clutch your pearls like for real you know and, and you may have started to think like is he really for me and he's show he's about to show you in the month of may that all of this was done for your greater good and, and i like i said i know it's probably hard to see it right now because you know you ain't seeing everything like he's seeing it but it's all about to take place your wealth the money that you lost um the finances that were not increasing like they should things that just dropped like okay you may have been doing real good in your business or at your job and things just changed like for the bad and you felt like it was for the bad but it was all to get you to look at something from a different perspective how can i tweak this how can i do this you know you tweaking things you seeing things from a different perspective even with your mindset and like i said the way that you carry yourself all of that is shifting because you may have been trying to create yourself to be someone different but being you is gonna get you far because you were created like that. You were created to be different. Being you is what caused the most high to choose you in the first place. So why would you even want to change that dynamic of yourself? So when you shift that perspective, it's like, okay, I can get with the program. I am me and I am who I am. I'm different from others. And it's like, okay, well, I can accept that. And when before you may have not been willing to accept it, you might have wanted to change. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having cosmetic surgery, you know, BBLs, but it's like now that you're starting to look at yourself and be grateful for who you are right now, things will begin to shift. You will see things change. You will see people treating you differently. You will see things coming to you, even with your that wealth transfer. May is going to bring a lot of wealth transfers to us. We're going to see things shifting. Like it's going to flow abundantly where you felt like your life was stagnant, where you felt like, you know, you should be making more, even though you probably was doing real good. You probably was doing real, real good. Okay. But it's like, dang this abundance that that's flowing in my life wow i wasn't ex you know you it's like you can feel something great about to happen something great is about to shift in your life but you just don't know what it is it's like god is saying get ready you know get ready for this overflow that you're supposed to have you are supposed to have wealth flowing in your life it's always supposed to be in that way you were always supposed to see yourself the way that the most high created you to be and see yourself in it see don't let the do not let the media fool you, baby. A lot of these people might not even be happy with who they are. You know, they may exude, uh, exude that, you know, okay, I'm happy. I love my life. I got this, this and that. You know, I've done different things, but a lot of them may not be happy. So that's why we can't compare ourselves to other people. Because, baby, when you be yourself... Nobody can take that away from you because that's what the Most High gave you. And when God gives you something, no man can tear it apart. No man can take it away. And that's how this wealth transfer is also about to come and see your life as well. It's like this wealth transfer is coming straight from heaven, right? And it's a, when it comes to you, it's going to be overflowing, pressed down, shaking together. It's like you ain't going to even have room enough to receive it. It's going to be so much better than you, you've seen before because this is what you deserve this is what you're supposed to have and like i said it's coming from heaven so it cannot be touched it can't be taken away you know god says touch not my anointing to do my prophets no harm that means don't touch nothing of theirs if i give it to them it's theirs type in the comments it's mine it's mine it's mine period it's mine so get excited for your life because this is about to be i i, I hope i'm look i hope i'm motivating you because this is what I'm getting. I want you to know that. But you have to shift your mindset. It's all about shifting the mindset and being appreciative about what you are what you already have. Being grateful for the things that, you know, the Most High has already given you. Baby, we got the activity of our limbs, our mind, baby. We, we in our right mind. You know, we could have been crazy by now. Them six months was something else. Could have been, you could have been. I ain't even going to say it, but you, it's, thank God we are in our right mind, right? We have shifted and things have begun to change. And I want you to know that God has prepared 
these blessings for you, the way that people treat you, you know, jobs that you may have applied for six months ago, these people going to remember you. They're going to be like, I remember the, the interview I had with this person. Let me hit them up. I might want to give, you know, it's just things like that, that people of God is about to cause people to remember who you were, the things that you did for them, the things that you didn't even do just by like being not giving up. They may have just seen you seeing that you went through something in a way that you look now in a way that you're you know you're still going like you're motivating people they're gonna remember that even when they're going through their trying times they're gonna remember this they're gonna know that it was nothing but the most high god who did it for you period and people that mistreated you in your past are going to start to think it's like their mindset is going to change because God has actually cleared out a lot of things and you know within that six month span but it's also like you know how they say April showers May flowers you know it's like all that rain has purified a lot of things in a lot of people God's intent was to change our lives to maybe even uproot it and we know that right there, that's that hurt. <laughs> when God uproots things in our lives and he shifts people out of our lives, when he takes things away and, you know, just to open up for newness, it's like, okay, now there's room enough for me to give them some more. Okay. And we know that was that hurt. That six month span has even shifted people that we call our enemies. You know, their mindset is going to change. They're going to start to treat, they're going to start giving to you. They're going to start giving into your bosom. You know, there may be a way of you have an opening where you can, people can donate to you. Or, I mean, they might just see you a check in the mail and you know, you like, what in the world? Why in the world did they do this? Because God is shifting that. He wanted these things to happen, but he want people to see that you did not take offense or you did not trip off about everything that they did to you. You knew, you knew a lot of stuff because remember, God has changed your mind. Your mindset has shifted. It's 12, 12, type 1212 in the comments, baby. God has shifted your perspective, right? So it's like, you wasn't even really tripping off these folks. You just, you know, you let stuff slide. So a lot of them are going to start to think like, wow, you, the chosen one, you didn't even do what other people would normally do. These Because you had, some of you guys have had a chance to out a lot of people. You ha, you could have told a lot of people a piece of their mind, but you also could have outed them and let, let it be publicly known what they did to you. But you didn't do that. And that's the thing about it. It's like, now God is causing them to remember like, wow, I did them wrong, but they didn't even do me wrong back. Why did I even do that? A lot of people were just confused throughout that time because they was even going through it themselves. People go through things. We don't know what they're going through, but, and they may take it out on us. But then once they begin to shift, once their mind changes and God begins to do a work in them, they begin to think. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to start to see even your enemies shifting their mindset about you. They're going to see things differently. I'm telling y'all, y'all better get ready. God is getting ready to show you off. He's going to prepare you. He's actually causing people to remember you. The whole wealth transfer, baby, it's a lot. It's about to be a lot. I know y'all feel it. Y'all better get ready, okay? I'm here to encourage you, and I pray that you was encouraged by this word, baby, because God is about to bless your game. Get ready. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, and make sure you get the merch. Give if you want to. It's everything you need to know is in the description bar below. Peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.